Each year, about a quarter of a million Americans suffer an ACL injury, and that rate has doubled in the last 20 years. One of the groups at highest risk of being sidelined by a knee injury is young female athletes. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has more. Children's Health Care of Atlanta's Dr. Crystal Perkins says ACL repairs are the most common surgery she performs. And about 60% of her ACL patients are young female athletes like Peyton Thomas. When we met Peyton Thomas, she was working her way back from her first ACL injury at 14. She'd been at a soccer team tryout. When she got her foot stuck in the ground, twisted her knee and felt a snap. And they said I tore my ACL, sprained my MCL, tore both of my meniscus. Tearing her anterior cruciate ligament left Thomas sidelined for months. They said that I would have to have surgery and then um, I would have to get my ACL repaired and my meniscus repaired. Thomas ended up undergoing two ACL surgeries with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's pediatric orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Crystal Perkins, who says teenage girls are the highest risk group for ACL tears. So the majority of ACL injuries are open field non-contact injuries. The knee shifts and the ACL tears as the knee shifts, but most commonly those are kind of pivoting, twisting or cutting injuries. Dr. Perkins says most of the ACL patients she ends up treating are single sport athletes, which can leave them vulnerable. Each sport brings out different muscle imbalances or muscle strengths. And so when you're focused solely on one sport year round, it sets you up for some of those imbalances. We know that hip and core strength is certainly a big component of why people tear their ACLs. We know that as you jump and land, your glute muscles and hip and core muscles contribute to the mechanics of how you land. So when you jump and you land and your knee turns inward, that has a significant impact on the ability to tear the ACL as opposed if you jump and land with your hip and knee and ankle all in a straight line. So Dr. Perkins believes the best way to protect younger players, especially younger women, is to teach them how to prevent ACL injuries by building up their hip and core strength. The difficult thing with sports is oftentimes, you know, the you show up, you work on some drills, you scrimmage, and then, you know, practice over and you go home and there was not a great warm up or cool down or strength training component to things. And Dr. Perkins says more focus needs to be in athletic training programs on injury prevention. And Peyton Thomas has fully recovered. She's now playing for both Campbell High School and the club team SSA. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.